I'm on my way to the uh, speed run and this time it's the uh, Peter Smith CWO1 creation speed run the DTO2 I'm on my way there to try something and try to see if I can get myself past 24 miles per hour let's see how it goes I don't have much to say so let's see how it goes uh, all right so we're here uh, the parking spot where I just did the shopping. Who cares? Uh, we care about this. This is the uh, DTO2. It looks different. The motor is in a different position. We also don't care about that right now. We care about the battery. It's a uh, lithium polymer high voltage, but it's only charged to the normal voltage. It has a torque tune and it's positioned strangely. So uh, yeah, and then there's the GPS thing going on here and as you can see it's registering when the car is moving, yeah. So we have to press the correct buttons and now we are tracking. Now I'll move the camera and then I'll give the car a, uh, a small run. We see how this goes. still recording okay the uh, body is on the car and we'll of course hope nobody's coming in the middle of this so let's give this a go to compensate and steering trim to the right. It went under the car. Ha. I think that's probably good enough for uh, for this purpose. Uh, and I have put everything here, and I'm not pressing the throttle, so I press the stop button and the read button. And I am on kilometers per hour, but I'm faster than I was before, and I'm quite happy about that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that was that was it. Let's have a look at the car. Uh, still the same thing that I showed a little bit before. Uh, there's the meter. There's the battery. There's the speed controller it's a hobby wing this time and the funny thing about the motor is in it's a funny position I'll try and explain that a little bit uh, in a moment uh, yeah that's enough for this section yeah thanks for watching I had a feeling that was gonna go better than it did before I bought myself a fizzy drink even for uh, for that purpose so um, oh my goodness the, the cap hey <laughs> it's one of the old ones thank you Mm. Oh, that's nice. Anyway, 55 kilometers per hour. I'll just put a uh, little note what that is in um, McMiles. Um, so I went up from 40 up to 55. So what's that? A um, 35, 40% increase or something in speed. Uh, and you notice that the tires were smaller than last time. So that's a gear reduction. And you also notice, because I said so also, that the motor is in a strange position. 
I, I, I sort of, I did discover this myself, and I don't know. Somebody else must have sorted this before. It's, it's not news. I, I really don't think so. But it's news, news to me. It's a hack. It's, I think it's within the, uh, the regulations and all of that stuff because I didn't 3D print anything or anything like that. All I did was take the, the, the spur gear. Throw it away. I didn't throw it away. It's uh, it's on the table still. So, so when you look at the spur gear, it has the big gear here, and then it uh, in the same plastic uh, there's the smaller gear. And I counted the tooth on that smaller gear. I didn't count on the big gear. There's too many to count. Um, so I counted on the smaller gear. That's 19 teeth on that that smaller gear. Then I thought, okay, the the pinion on my motor is 19 and I was like oh mm -hmm. then I sort of tried to see okay can, can I do that then I needed to take the gearbox apart and then I found something really 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 interesting uh, really 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 interesting that there's a, a hole in the gearbox you need to drill it out but it's sort of prepared that hole when you drill that out with the three millimeter drill Maybe I'll take a photo or something. Uh, when you drill that out with a three millimeter drill, you can put a very long screw into it, through one of the ways, through it, into the motor, into the torque tuned motor. And then on the torque tuned motor, there's the, uh, the, you need two screws, otherwise the motor is gonna be skewed, so that's no good. So on the motor, there's another hole, and then there's a third hole about 90 degrees away from the first hole where I put the screw and that one doesn't it's just a hole so you need to take a three millimeter uh, tap and then you need to cut a three millimeter thread into it and then you can um, uh, uh, then you can uh, sort of drill a hole in the gearbox where the spur gear is normally going. You can drill that hole. You need to sort of guesstimate that, but it doesn't have to be completely accurate because the it just needs to go through there. It doesn't have to. Um, it has to be fairly accurate, but not crazy accurate. So anyway, then you put that one in and the other screw and when you have the gearbox apart, then you can sort of aim and then you can see where that um, where that other gear used to be. That's where your pinion is. It's supposed to be sort of center when you look. Look through. There's another hole that you can look through, and then it sort of meshes up i didn't dare to tighten those um those uh motor screws too much because then it starts to bind and i think my drive drive line was binding a little bit uh it's it's not the safest thing to do but hey it's it's fun it gave me a uh, increment in speed even with a smaller wheel size and the other thing that i learned oh what I forgot to warm up the tires. Was that I was stupid when I started driving because I should have warmed up those foam tires. I, I did that afterwards. I gained two kilometers more, which don't count because I didn't know how to use the uh, camera and the stuff. Um, it doesn't matter. 55 is fine for me. Um, and then... It's all good. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks, Peter. It's been amazing to be in your challenge. Thank you.